So yesterday I uploaded a method of how you could basically get unlimited ammo, infinite ammo, with any weapon and any vault hunter. Today I bring you a build I quickly created for Zane around this and to be honest guys it ended up being an amazing build which will help anybody out struggling through that Mayhem 10. Obviously though, certain aspects of this build you will need to go and get. How's it going guys, my name's DPG and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe and turn those notifications on by hitting that bell button if you do want to see more. So the infinite ammo trick is actually a real simple one and it means that weapons like the yellow cake, the sand hawk, the iron cannon and many many other weapons which have a habit of burning through the ammo be a much more consistent and efficient weapon, especially on vault hunters like Zane who don't really have the means to stretch out their ammo usage and so forth. And that's why I decided to upload this video on my Zane infinite ammo build. So firstly the items you will need to get. So you need to get the fish slap grenade, which is an exclusive item to the Revenge of the Cartels event. And you get this thing from Villa Ultraviolet from fish slap himself or Tyrone Smullins. And you also need any variant of the cut purse artifact. So find yourself any artifact farm, an artifact you feel would suit this for your place style and the choice of setup you go for and go get this thing. You can see a quick guide on screen now of where all artifacts do indeed drop. So once you have those items, Weapons I suggest you get in your hands on though are weapons such as crazy powerful weapons but melt through that ammo quick, where with this build that won't be the problem. Weapons that come to mind for me are weapons like the iron cannon, the yellow cake, the hydro frost and the sand hawk. I mean there are many many weapons in this game right now that just are super powerful but they burn through the ammo so so quick so they just ain't really that efficient on Zane. Today with this they will be. I personally just use the yellow cake with this though and it melts through absolutely everything on Mayhem 10 and it means those who are struggling with Mayhem 10 will be able to use this and farm anywhere for that beautiful loot. So the shield I am using here is the new firewall. This variant is the ammo cache variant and it has that tail prefix which is good. 50% chance to absorb ammo as well as its usual skill. Projected shield has a chance to fire projectiles at attackers, a portion of the projectile's damage restores shields. Now I won't lie, this is only being used here because the anointment and it's probably the best shield I have with this anointment on and that is while action skill is active, 250% of health taken is returned to the attacker the shock damage. If you could land yourself an old god shield with this anointment on, which is a variant which offers damage which helps you with the weapons you are using, that would be absolutely amazing. I don't have one of them right now, so that's why I'm using this. Now the firewall is another exclusive drop upon the Villa Ultraviolet from the enemies of Josie Bite and Franco Firewall. Class mod we are using here is the Seeing Dead. Obviously, I don't feel I need to explain this thing. Obviously go for skills though on this that will help your build and match your build. Mine obviously dedicated to heavy and ammo. Seeing Dead drops anywhere upon the handsome jackpot for those who are new around here. Grenade is that fish slap grenade. This by the way doesn't have to be any particular one. Yes if you have one which gives you additional benefits that's perfect but that isn't really necessary as it's the grenade's main party trick which we indeed need and that is the fact that fish slaps damage is melee damage and this means with the cut purse equipped we indeed replenish ammo upon our grenades hitting those enemies which is pretty cool and that's why I state the cut purse is also very important. So let's move on to the build and we will start with the skill tree in which the action skill is being used here and that's barrier. So 5 points into Adrenaline for that increased action skill cooldown, very important where one action skill is being used. We then have 3 points into Stiff Upper Lip, as bear in mind, we have all the damage output we need, being able to spam out rocket launches and so forth, so putting a little more into defence makes sense. And we then put 2 into Rise to the Occasion, again a defensive perk, and we then have Confident Competence selected, where we gain a great damage bonus depending on shield status. Augments we use here are nanites or some shite and all rounder, with again defensive intentions in mind. Okay, so moving on to Sentinel. 5 points into violent speed and 5 points into violent momentum. Speed equals power. We then put 4 points into salvation with death follows close selected. 5 points into violent violence, where I will state I use mainly for when I am using weapons it will affect more, more so than rocket launchers with 2 points into playing dirty here. Now what I will state is, depending on the way you prefer to use this setup, weapon wise, 
If you roll four launchers, I'd put five right here and two into violent violence. If you more so go with weapons like the Sandhawk and the Hydra Thrust, five in violent violence makes more sense. And then we put three points into good misfortune, which is a must, obviously. And then we have that C in red selected. Lastly, people, we have the Digiclone Tree. Five points into synchronicity and five points into Donnybrook. Great pairing for damage here. We then put five points into duct tape mod. These, when grenades are fired from that weapon, do trigger the pairing of the grenade and the artifact, which will regen that ammo. This though, I will state, isn't super important because we will be throwing grenades. So you can put two here and three into prey for that extra mag size. That's up to you, but we just need five points to get down the tree for our next skill, which is pocket full of grenades. This obviously replenishes your grenades upon it being active and it comes into play via you simply hitting enemies because of the seeing dead class mod and also because we're using seeing red it will also activate this perk when you activate your action skill. So grenades will always be there people to help you replenish the ammo. And guys that's the build, the complete thing and it works amazingly well for sure. Those of you guys who are a fan of my Winter Soldier build, my Winter Soldier 2.0 build will notice straight away that this is just a simple adaptation of that with a few things changed here and there. And what this will do is help you through the toughest challenges this game throws at you if you are struggling, as well as giving you infinite ammo, which is just a major bonus. So yeah, I made this for those who asked and hit me up about this and were curious about this build. So I hope it helps you out. Footage in the background, by the way, was obviously me using this build and as you saw, it was absolutely destroying everything on Mayhem 10. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new and you want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Bullets for you. Everybody gets bullets. That was all me. You should back away. my arse for a bit.